And well, it is what most of us looked for after going outside for even just a minute or two today. Relief. City leaders hope to provide that. News Channel 15's Adam Widener went to places designated for that very reason today. And he joins us live from West Main Street with the story. Well, here at the community center cooling station, you can come in, get some water, get some Gatorade, get some of that relief. And this is just one of a couple of different ways that the city is urging folks to stay cool and to stay safe. It started hot. We love to go to the zoo, but it's just too hot to do that. Then got hotter. We love to go to the park or play in the backyard, but it's too hot to do that. And hotter. Hot days like this, um, people don't have air condition. It's so bad the city of Fort Wayne stepped in. It set up five cooling stations around town. The one on West Main had its regulars playing cards in the community center. I had air conditioning in the car when I came and I run in. <laughs> the buildings basically function as they normally do. Not many people took advantage of the water and fans this morning. This is just an opportunity to get in where they can get some air conditioning. But the city made another step, urging folks to stay cool. <laughs> That's grabbing more attention. They just said it was free to go on in. I didn't even know that was happening today. All three public pools in the city are free today and tomorrow. The Parks Department expects close to capacity. At Memorial, we'll probably be about 200, 300 people today. Uh, McMillan, I would say a good four to 500. And here, we can get up to about 700. All in the effort to bring relief to everyone. The pool water right now is at a very cool temperature. It allows people to um, not only relax, like I said, but also to get cool and to be in a safe environment. Now, I'm told there's only about 20 people that stop by this cooling center today. Officials tell me that most of the time, if people need air conditioning and they don't have it, they'll go to the mall, restaurants, libraries, things like that. And leaders with the city told me that to remember to check on your neighbors during this scorching heat, uh, especially the elderly and people that don't have air conditioning. We're live downtown. Adam Widener, News Channel 15.